welcome to all students today we discuss in design of transmission systems system the types of brakes a brake a mechanical device which is used to absorb the energy possessed by a moving system or mechanical by means of friction energy absorb can be potential energy and kinetic energy there are brakes types like mechanical brakes hydraulic brake pneumatic brakes and electrical a brake is a device with the help of which artificial frictional resistance is applied to a moving machine member in order to stop or retard the motion of a body the energy absorbed by the brake can be either kinetic or potential or combination of both in case of vehicles and machines the kinetic energy of the rotating part is absorbed by the brake whereas in case of elevator elevators the potential energy released by the body during the braking period is absorbed by the brake the energy absorbed by the brake is dissipated in the form of heat due to surrounding hence excessive heating of the brake lining is avoided the capacity of any brakes depends upon the unit pressure between the braking surfaces and coefficient of friction and heat dissipating capacity of the brake a dynamometer is also brake but in addition it has a device to measure the frictional resistance by knowing the frictional resistance we can find the torque transmitted and hence the power of engine the purpose of the purpose of this is the brake types okay the purpose of braking system to provide a mean to slow the vehicle vehicle without affecting the engine speed to provide a means to stop the vehicle while the engine in is still running to provide emergency stop of the vehicle within the lowest time and distance i am repeat again the brake purpose to provide a means to slow the vehicle without affecting the engine speed to provide a mean to stop the vehicle while the engine is still running to provide emergency stop of the vehicle within lowest time and distance the requirements of brake it should be efficient enough to stop the vehicle in the shortest distance it should have consistent and predictable performance to control the speed of the vehicle it should be efficient enough to avoid steering of the vehicle on turns it should have good anti characteristics that is it should not wear easily with the time and atmosphere it should have faster and heat dissipation ability this is the brakes types mechanical brakes hydraulic brakes pneumatic brakes and electrical brakes okay after then there is brake energy equations in brake energy equations for mechanical system moving with a mass m and velocity v1 slow down to v2 during the period of braking that is kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 m into v1 square minus v2 square for rotating body kinetic energy is equal to 1 upon 2 i into omega 1 square minus omega 2 square uh, omega 2 square potential energy is equal to mass into g into h total energy is kinetic energy plus potential energy total energy is equal to work done is equal to e is equal to mt into theta there are some problem on this brake we solve this problem in next lecture these are the some problem okay after this there is new concept direct that is block brake or short shoe in block brake or shoe brakes a simple block press against the rotating drum a friction between block and brake drum causes retardation commonly employed in a railway wagons angle of contact between the block and brake drum brake drum is usually small intensity of pressure is uniform in block brake or shoe brake consist of blocks which are pressed against the surface of a rotating drum the block is either rigidly attached or pivoted to the lever and line with the friction material the frictional resistance between the frictional lining on the block and drum retards the motion of the drum 
The block is generally made up of soft material than the rim of the flywheel. These brakes are commonly used commonly used in railway trains and tram cars and bicycles. Also also the these brakes the blocks or shoe brakes are further classified as single block brake, double block brake and pivoted block brakes. This is the block brake diagram for short shoe. Okay. Brake capacity. The brake capacity is calculated between pressure between braking surfaces, contacting area of braking surfaces, radius of brake drum, coefficient of friction, ability of brake to dissipate heat. After this block brake or short brake, there are some assumptions like block is rigidly attached to the lever, angle of contact small resulting in uniform pressure distribution, brake drum rotating in clockwise direction. There are some rotations like MT is equal to braking torque, R is equal to capital R is equal to radius of the drum, mu n is equal to frictional force, small permissible pressure intensity, L is equal to length of the block, W is equal to width of the block. This is optimum width 1 by 4 dry drum diameter less than ohm, W less than 1 by 2 drum diameter. There is some problem. We discuss about this problem in next lecture. Okay. After this, there is discuss about pivoted block and in pivoted block or double block shoe brake when a single block this is the block diagram there is some short shoe block short shoe brake a double block or shoe brake when a single block brake is applied to a rotating drum an additional load is produced on the shaft bearing due to normal reactions this additional load produces bending of the shaft hence to overcome this drawback a double block or shoe brake is used it consists of two blocks or shoes at the opposite ends of diameter of the wheel which reduces the unbalanced force on the shaft. The, the upper ends of the brake arms, spurs, arms are set together by using a spring. When the current is switched off, there is no force on the lever and the brake is automatically engaged due to the spring force. Hence, there will be no downward motion of the load. Therefore, these types of brakes are commonly used in electric cranes. So, these are the details description of the block. In next lecture, we solve these all types of problems. So, thank you all of you.